had brunch in, I haven't made brunch in two weeks, so I made our traditional one that we love so much, some over medium eggs, bacon, and biscuits. So ignore my appearance, because I just finally got done with all the Christmas decor, pretty much. The outside is all we have to work on, Chris and I together. He basically does the outside. I just do a little bit of the stuff near the door. Do you see Holly by the door? Cause she hears the neighbors next door doing their lights, um, getting their stuff up and she is not loving it. <laughs> Cause of course it's loud and like they're banging things and stuff and she's just not having it. But look at this view behind me. It's pretty Christmas magic. I love it. Got candles burning. I'm doing some laundry and I'm gonna start editing the home tour. So I'm pretty sure by the time this vlog goes up, the home tour will be up too, or will we be going up very shortly after this vlog. So I will make sure to put a little annotation here that lets you know if it's linked below or not, or if it's gonna be next week, but it'll be very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Valerie Park Hill did it again. Look at Santa in his little truck. And he has all these cute little guys in the back, the dog and the presents, and even the headlights go on. Oh yes, Santa, come bring me something good. Bye. It's that time of the season where I start to bake lots of yummy things. And of course I will share with you guys. So some of these things are for Thanksgiving. Some are going to be continuation into Christmas time. So I'm making mini pumpkin cheesecakes for Thanksgiving. And I'm also bringing some brownies. I'm cheating with the brownies because I am using a mix for the brownies. Um, I usually just get the double fudge. These are the Supreme Triple Chunk Brownie mix from Betty Crocker because they didn't have the um, fudge ones, but these seem very, very delicious. And I will make sure to make them more fudgy instead of cakey. And then usually I'll add a box of the sugar-free Jello to make them even more like fudgy. So we'll see, I might do that. And then this was on sale when I went to Safeway today, Hershey's Betty Crocker frosting. So that sounded really good for the top of that. And then the pumpkin, um, little mini pumpkin cheesecakes. Look at this one under me. Make it, girl. <laughs> she thinks I have something for her. Good girl, babies. Um, I'm either going to do a ginger snap crust or a um, graham cracker crust. So I have both just in case. So I picked up some ginger snaps, got some sugar and flour. I just got this because I wanted to be lazy this season and not flour my pans. <laughs> so this has it all in one. And this is a hot commodity around um, the holidays because I make my pignoli Italian cookies with this almond paste and it's always hard to find. So I decided to grab three of them while I could and I prefer this one over others that I've used in the past. So I got three of those, got dish detergent and then back there I've got some more pans like that I can take to Thanksgiving because I'm also making an appetizer. Um, so I just wanted to get ones that we could just throw away um, after we use them. And I've got some holiday Oreos in there and some Tim Tams for when the kids come over. But I'm going to put these in the in our jar that I like I did last year. And I need to start the laundry now, but just wanted to show you really quick. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, I did get a little small pack of the holiday blend. I know Chris and I love the fall blend, but I can't remember if we like the holiday blend as much. So I just got 10 of them just in case. I love the box that it comes in. Um, but yeah, now I got to put everything away and start editing the home decor video. Oh goodness, Christmas came early for me. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. Um, we actually went to the J. Crew outlet store the other day and picked up some really cute items actually at Banana Republic. And I think maybe one or two items says gifts at J. Crew as well. And Mama Bee was going to give this to me for Christmas, but then she said, you have to wear it during Christmas season. So I don't want to wait to give it to you. <laughs> so, this is my a Christmas gift that I'm getting quite early, and I'm very thankful, though, because I, I kind of needed a jacket that was a neutral tone like this. I love this jacket. It's a really nice, thicker material, has a beautiful silk lining, and then um, I did try it on in the store. I got the 10. Um, I probably could have gone slightly bigger if I like bigger in a size if I wanted to wear sweaters underneath it but that's just not how it goes here in Arizona I'm going to show you it like really cinches into my waist nicely and has buttons all the way down it's a beautiful coat 
And then she actually got one of these headbands for her and also for somebody else in our family. I'm sure they know who they are if they're watching. Um, but you guys know I love wearing headbands and I especially love this knotted headband trend that's been going around this year. And this is like a really cute plaid, Christmas plaid, and it goes perfectly with this top. And this top has that like, I think that's chiffon, that really lightweight material. And look how cute the little sleeves are with the ruffles. And then um, this is in a size medium. If I'm able to link them, I will try to for you guys. And then here are a few buttons because these are all newer items. Um, at least this top and the headband are newer items. I'm not sure about the jacket because the jacket was like 60% off or something crazy. Um, so yeah, I'll try to link them if I can find them. And I'm gonna show you what the jacket looks like on right now. So here's my jacket. I'm laughing at Holly in the background. I didn't button it all the way up, but you guys can see it's nice and long. So I was up late to upload the Christmas tour and I need to make some mini pumpkin cheesecakes. Um, this is the recipe I'm using. Here are the ingredients. And then here are the instructions. I know I'm totally old school printing it out. And this is the um, website if you wanna check it out. But it had good reviews, so I thought I would give it a try. And I'm also going to be cheating with the brownies because I got a mix. <laughs> so I'm going to be making that too. And then tomorrow I'm going to be making an appetizer. I'm not sure if I want to use this pan or not, but look how pretty this is. I just don't think the recipe I have is going to call for that. I was thinking about putting the brownies in this pan instead, instead of doing this, but probably just easier doing that way. So I'm whispering because the kids um, are getting ready for bed. They're here. And we're watching the sun. The last batch of pumpkin cheesecakes are in the oven and brownies are done. I left some of the crust and some of them without frosting because my dad likes the crust and without frosting. And I figured maybe a couple other people would too. And I made them kind of smaller sizes too so they can feel like they could have a little brownie with their other desserts, you know what I'm saying? And how cute are these little tins? I got them, I'm pretty sure, at Hobby Lobby. It's either Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And look what time it is. Happy Thanksgiving, it's already Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Starting the Macy's Day Parade. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. But unfortunately, I hurt myself. Pretty sure I broke something. <laughs> I know, right? joy to the world but i'm gonna take this as god is wanting me to rest and stop rushing around everywhere so here i am watching the macy's day parade with holly <laughs> thanksgiving day we just made it to brian's i'm hop along sally or the thanksgiving zombie because i can walk but not really Oops. here's gavin doesn't he look dapper today and Brian, the he's the host today, and Haley back there, and oh, Lexi's there too, and Sandor. We got football on. And let's get to the food. So I'm gonna let you sneak and see all the food first. We got stuffing. <laughs> Yummy white meat turkey. Dark meat turkey. I don't know what's, oh, I think egg rolls are in there. Yeah, some kind of rolls. But look at this, my dad made turkeys, bread turkeys. Aren't they so cool? And what else do we got over here? Ham. And I think more turkey, oh my gosh, a whole big turkey. Look at that beauty. And then we got the dessert, of course. I'm gonna show you how pretty she made the table too. Okay, look how cute they put all the tables together so we could sit all together still in one big table. And we all have placed place, um, ats here that say our name. My favorites. <laughs> 
stuffed mushrooms. can't show you my shopping tabs just in case someone's watching but I am doing some Black Friday shopping while resting my foot because yes I did definitely do something bad to my foot so Holly's with me while the kids and Chris are putting Christmas lights up in um, around the house and I'm also watching Hallmark movies although it's a commercial now so you can't tell all right back to shopping <laughs> Showing off your work, baby. Look at our cool new inflatable we got for this year. We got some multicolor lights this year. Chris and the kids were hard at work today getting this done. Thanksgiving or day after Thanksgiving sandwiches by Chris. Turkey and ham. I just wanted more carbs. Horrible, I know watching the game so you guys know that i've been trying to eat to evolve meals and chris and i have been loving it because it's so so easy not to have to come home and cook and we just pull out fresh food like this and we love the flavors um i'll list a few of my favorites down below for you guys that we've tried but we have never tried their breakfast and the kids are over for thanksgiving and i don't want to have to cook right now because i really hurt my foot like you guys know um and i can't really stand on it for very long so i thought it would be a good idea to try these breakfasts out um i have the bacon and egg scramble with cholula hot sauce they have everything included all ready to go and then we also have some french toast with sausage links so I'm just going to split this amongst us so we can kind of try a little bit of everything together and I will let you know at the end what we think of it. If you were wondering, I'm totally not telling them that I'm not making this. <laughs> you could fool all of your relatives on Christmas morning just saying. It smells amazing. So I feel like my new iPhone is super protected now because I just changed to the Case Defy case. And they also sent over this tempered glass screen protector, which has anti-blue light, which I've never had. That's really awesome. Plus there's a protector on my, um, the actual lenses of my camera. Let me actually show so you. So I came to grab Chris's phone so I could show you guys the case a little bit better and in a little more detail because it does have almost like an overlay on it that makes it look like it's painted. I think it's such a pretty case, but best part about it is it protects my phone and that's what I wanted it for, um, to absorb any, you know, damage. There's all these like rubber pieces on the outside to help with the, uh, absorbing some of that shock if it drops. Um, and I'll put some more specifics here cause I'm forgetting the exact amount of feet you can drop it at and it'll be fine. But I definitely, sometimes I'm clumsy with my phone and drop it when I obviously shouldn't 
<laughs> be dropping it from that distance. So I'm very lucky and it's been doing very well so far. And then also I got one of these protective covers for the cameras itself on the new 13 because I was really concerned about how they're kind of raised off of the phone. Um, so this piece helps to protect that, which I really love too. So I'll make sure to link um, their information down below. They have a lot of different styles. Watching Hallmark movies, the kids are playing PlayStation with Chris in there. And I'm making a fun after Thanksgiving dip to enjoy with the kids. We just watched Chicago also. At least um, Lexi watched that with us. Kevin decided to not. Um, but anyways, I'm making a dip that has eight ounces of cream cheese, two cups of sharp cheddar, a cup of sour cream. Um, I'm, I did about... Let's see, maybe six or seven strips of bacon that I'm going to now chop finely. And then I'm going to use four to five of these peppers. I'm going to take all the seeds out and the like stems inside. You can use a little bit of the seeds to make it extra spicy. But these I've used previously and they're really, really spicy already without the seeds. So I think I'll probably just use all the peppers so I can make a nice big dip. And then I have the scoops to use to dip with. Yum. Yummy, yummy. This is delicious. We're about to go to the Nutcracker, all dressed up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you Chris's tie closer up because it's so freaking cute. It deserves its moment. Look at his tie. Dancing Santa. <laughs> it's too funny. I was just going to quickly say my headbands from J. Crew, dresses from Boohoo, earrings I got from Kohl's a while ago, but I'll try to link something similar from Amazon, lip is from Morphe, and I'm wearing the boots that I wore on Thanksgiving because I think I can manage to walk in them because I managed to walk in them that day, so. I have a second because we just dropped off the kids and um, I have a second alone in the car so I wanted to talk to you guys about the Eat to Evolve meals that we had this morning. I never got a chance to talk to you about it. So we really liked the eggs and bacon scramble and the French toast was just okay for us. Um, I think because they're comparing it to my French toast. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was good for what it was but I definitely appreciated the bacon and egg scramble more. Um, and I think that was the consensus overall. Um, so I would definitely get that again, but I'm not so sure if I would get the French toast again. Also, we're going to the Nutcracker right now, like I told you guys earlier, and I love that we're so festive today. Chris, I didn't even tell Chris at all, like that he had to dress a certain way. He knew that I was wearing this green dress though, and that I was going to be festive and he got all festive and it totally made my day, um, because it feels like it's officially the Christmas season now that we're going to see the Nutcracker. And this is like an early little gift for Brian and Haley. They're gonna come with us. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Um, and we're gonna go to dinner with them to Abuelo's. I know that we go there often, but we love it so much. It's so delicious. We get fajitas there to share usually, Chris and I. So, so yeah, Chris is about to head back into the car. So I'll show you guys what we eat at Abuelo's. We got the fajita trio, some mango margaritas. So we found a new Nutcracker to commemorate this year's Nutcracker Ballet. We don't have any actually dancing Nutcrackers like this, I don't think. We might have one, now that I think of it, but nothing like this together. There's pennies. So I'm gonna go put it on the tree, and then we're gonna watch the game. Are you scoping out a spot to put it on? Thank you. 